Hi students. So yesterday uh, we discussed about the problems of exercise 1.1. I mean, uh, I taught you uh, third, four, uh, third, fourth, and fifth problem yesterday. So today I am going to teach you the sixth problem. So what it contains, all of you see here. Rita goes 20 kilometers towards east from a point A to the point B. From B, she moves 30 kilometers towards west along the same road. If, if the distance towards east is represented by a positive integer, then how will you represent the distance travel towards west? By which integer will you represent her final position from A? So this is the question. So what is the meaning of this question? All of his students say, I will explain uh, uh, now. See here. Uh, so this is the west position and this is the east position okay now she uh, rita rita she moves from this a point to b 20 kilometers okay rita moves uh, 20 kilometers from a to b uh, in a east position next she moved 30 kilometers 30 kilometers from b position towards west so what the asking the question for us here rita moves 20 kilometers in east position it is represented by a positive integer according to the question so what they asking the question for us now rita moves 30 kilometers towards west is represented by which integer and what is her final position from a to c they are asking the question for us Actually, uh, this C not given in the problem. Okay, I just um, uh, uh, wrote it. Okay, see here, Rita traveled 20 kilometers from this A to B in east position is represented by positive integer. Now, Rita um, moves B uh, from B to I mean, uh, Rita moves 30 kilometers from this B point towards west. It is represented by which integer? It is nothing but negative integer because she traveled in opposite direction of this east. Okay, students. So this is the answer for the first first question. Okay. So what is the second question here? What is her final position from this A to C? See here, from A to B, what is the distance? 20. From B to C, from B she travelled 30 kilometers. means here we, uh, consider she comes here, okay. The position of her, uh, the position of that uh, Rita is consider at here and I just named this one as a C, okay. Now we have to find the distance between both these, okay. So let me solve this one. See here what I wrote here, according to the number line, Rita moves towards East is represented by positive integer, they given in the problem, okay. When Rita moves towards west, when Rita moves towards west, is represented by a negative integer. Okay, students. So see the next what happens. Distance, distance between between A to B, A to B. Distance between A to B is how much? It is a uh, twenty kilometers. Okay. From A to B it is a 20 kilometers. Next distance between B to C. Distance between B to C. B to C how much it is a 30 kilometer. Now here we have to find the distance between A to C. Okay. Distance between A to C is equal to here we have to do the subtraction that is 20 minus 30. Okay students how much comes it is. Uh, 30 minus 20 10 comes and the bigger number is 30 20 and 30 among among 20, 30 and 20 which one is the bigger 30 is the bigger and it contains negative okay so the answer is minus 10 kilometer so the final position of that Rita is how much it is a therefore final position final position of of Rita from a is equal to how much it is a minus 10 kilometer so this is the solution for the sixth problem students okay let me solve the next one 
see the seven problems students all of you here in a magic square each row column and diagonal have the same sum check which of the following is a magic square okay here uh, in a magic square each row column this one all these are the columns and all the uh, all these are the columns and all these are the rows and diagonals means in this direction okay uh, have the same sum check which of the following is magic square so how to solve this one i'll explain now uh, all of you students here so here this is seventh question contains total two problems this is the first one and this is the second one i solve first one and second it is a homework for all of you so let me solve the first one first okay see here uh here first i am going to take a rows here okay solution taking rows taking rows here i am going to take first rows here okay row means here we have to add all these here we have to find the sum of all these integers see the first one 5 plus minus 1 5 plus minus 1 Plus minus four. See here, five. Okay, minus one and minus four. We have to add all these. See how much comes it is. Five plus into minus minus one plus into minus minus one plus into minus minus four. Here, both these numbers are same sign. It means we have to add. Okay, minus one minus four. How much comes it is? Minus five comes. This five right as it is. Minus one minus five. How much minus one minus four? How much comes? It is a minus five comes. Okay. So both these numbers have different sign. It means here we have to find. Um, here we have to do the subtraction. Five minus five. How much comes? It is a zero comes. Okay, students. So this is the uh, first row. Now take the second row. Second row. How much comes? All of you see here. Uh, minus five plus minus two and seven. Okay. Minus five, minus two, and seven. Minus five plus into minus minus two, and plus seven. Okay, here minus two minus two minus seven comes, and this plus seven right as it is. Minus seven plus seven how much comes? It is a zero comes. Take the third one. Okay, it is zero plus three plus into bracket minus three. Zero three minus three. Okay. So zero plus three plus into minus minus three. Okay, so plus three minus three becomes total zero here. So this is regarding the rows. Now taking the columns, taking columns, taking columns. Now take the columns like this: five, five, five minus five like this. Okay, uh, five plus minus five plus zero. Okay. Five plus into minus minus zero. Okay, this one zero right as it is. So five minus five is zero. Zero plus zero zero. Okay. Now take the second row. Uh, sorry, second column. Minus one minus two plus three. Okay. Minus one minus two plus three. Okay. Minus one minus two plus three. How much becomes? Check all of you. Minus one plus into minus minus two plus three right as it is. Okay. Minus one minus two minus three comes. This plus three right as it is. Minus three plus three how much comes? It is a zero comes. Okay. Take another column. It is minus four seven minus three. Minus four seven and minus three. Minus four seven minus three, okay. Minus four plus seven plus into minus three. See here, both these numbers they have same sign. We have to add them. Minus four minus three, minus seven, and this plus seven right as it is. Zero comes. So this is regarding the columns. Now take the uh, diagonals. Diagonals means students see here five minus two. Minus three. We have to find the sum of all these integers. Similarly, zero minus two minus four. We have to find the sum of all these integers. Okay. See here, taking diagonals. Taking diagonals is equal to. So first diagonal is how much it is? Five plus minus two 
and plus minus 3 how much comes here minus 2 minus 3 okay here 5 minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 comes and it is a 0 taking uh, take the next uh, row that is 0 plus minus 2 and minus 4 0 minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 plus into minus minus 2 plus into minus minus and this 4 right as it is 0 minus 2 minus uh, 4 how much comes it is a minus 6 comes okay so the answer is minus 6 here see students here when we take the rows all the answer comes zeros okay and when you take the columns uh, all the answer comes zero and when you can come to the uh, diagonals one answer comes zero and one answer comes comes as a minus six see here if the all the answer comes zero it is a we have to consider it as a magic square but here one answer comes different it means it means it is a not a this box this box it is a not a magic square if the all the answer comes same it is a magic square okay students so uh, this first box it is not a magic square so let me write the sentence here therefore this uh, this box is this box is not not a magic magic square because because all the sums are all the sums are not same all the sums are not same so this is the solution for the first question uh, first problem of seventh question so seventh question contains total two problems as i told as i told before <coughs> the second question you have to do in home it is a homework for all of you so let me stop here tomorrow i will uh, going to solve the next problems thank you have a nice day